have we finally found the answer to one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, may have just brought us one step closer to a revolutionary discovery. Meet K218b, a distant exoplanet that has suddenly found itself at the forefront of astrobiological research. Why? Because the James Webb Telescope discovered something extraordinary in its atmosphere. Water vapor, methane, and even the rare dimethyl sulfide are not just random molecules. They may be the biosignatures we are looking for clues that life in some form exists beyond Earth. Armed with the most advanced space technology ever created, the JWST is our new guardian of the galaxy, designed to peer into the unknown and perhaps redefine our understanding of life itself. For decades, the Hubble Space Telescope has been our window to the universe, producing images that have both delighted and enlightened us. But even Hubble has its limitations. Meet James Webb, a telescope dedicated to pushing the boundaries of what we can see and understand. One of the most innovative features of the JWST is its sunshield technology. This is no ordinary sunshade. It's a multi-layered engineering marvel the size of a tennis court that blocks the heat of the sun, earth, and moon. Why is this important? Because it allows the telescope to cool to incredibly low temperatures, increasing its sensitivity to the faint infrared signals emitted by distant celestial bodies. Infrared observations are crucial for studying exoplanets like K218b. Unlike visible light, which can be absorbed or scattered by space dust, infrared waves can overcome such obstacles, giving us clearer and more detailed images. So, what discoveries await us when we turn JWST's gaze to K218b? Located 124 light years away, in the constellation Leo. This exoplanet is more than just a distant rock. You may have heard of the Goldilocks zone, a term describing the habitable zone around a star, where conditions are ideal neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist. K218b orbits around its parent star K218 in just this zone. But what sets it apart from other exoplanets in similar orbits? K218b is not just another rocky planet. It is what scientists call a Hycean world. Hycean worlds, characterized by a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and a surface covered by a watery ocean, represent a new frontier in our search for extraterrestrial life. Recent observations by the JWST have revealed intriguing details about K218b's atmosphere. From water vapor to methane and even potential traces of dimethyl sulfide, the atmosphere of this distant world is a cocktail of elements and compounds that could support life, or at least life, as we don't yet know it. The presence of these atmospheric components has caused a wave of excitement in the scientific community. Researchers are full of speculation as they ponder the implications for astrobiology and the broader quest to understand the nature of life in the universe. Studying the atmosphere of an exoplanet more than 100 light years away is no easy task. It involves a technique called spectroscopy, which analyzes the light from the planet's parent star as it passes through the planet's atmosphere. Different molecules absorb light of specific wavelengths, creating a unique fingerprint that can be deciphered to determine the composition of the atmosphere. The infrared capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope have played a crucial role in these discoveries. Its Mid-Infrared Instrument Spectrograph, or MIRI, allows for an extended range of wavelengths, enabling it to detect a variety of molecules that were previously elusive. On Earth, methane is often produced by biological processes, and its presence on K218b opens up the possibility of life forms that thrive in a hydrogen-rich environment, something we've never encountered before. The composition of K218b's atmosphere also suggests the presence of a subsurface ocean, 
opening up exciting questions about atmosphere-ocean interactions and how these dynamics might affect the planet's habitability. When we think of life, we often imagine Earth-like environments. But life exists in environments where we can't even imagine. Studying extremophiles organisms that thrive in extreme conditions opens up new possibilities for life beyond Earth. Could such life forms exist on exoplanets like K218b? The hydrogen-rich atmosphere offers unique conditions for previously unexplored life. If methane in K218b's atmosphere is produced biologically, we may be in a world where hydrogen-loving extremophiles thrive. Deep in Earth's oceans, hydrothermal vents spew hot, mineral-rich water, creating an environment devoid of sunlight but teeming with life. Extremophiles, such as thermophiles and acidophiles, thrive there, challenging our traditional understanding of what life needs to survive. Could similar life forms exist on K2-18b? The study of extremophiles expands the range of conditions in which life can exist, from the acidic rivers of Rio Tinto in Spain to the tundra of Siberia. This diversity encourages us to reconsider the ecological limits of extraterrestrial life. One of the most interesting aspects of studying K218b's atmosphere is the potential presence of dimethyl sulfide, DMS. On Earth, this compound is often produced by marine phytoplankton and serves as a potential biosignature. Could its presence on K218b also indicate life? The potential detection of DMS is still being tested and confirming its presence requires careful analysis. But the excitement and debate it has sparked in the scientific community are undeniable. Historically, astronomical discoveries have often been met with skepticism. When Galileo first discovered the satellites of Jupiter, his findings were initially rejected by many. Similarly, the discovery of the first exoplanet in 1995 was met with caution. The James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized our understanding of exoplanets like K218b. But it's just one step in a long journey of space exploration. What lies beyond this monumental mission and how will future technologies continue to expand our cosmic horizons? The extremely large telescope, ELT scheduled for completion by 2025, promises to be another game changer. With a main mirror diameter of 128 feet, it will be the largest near-infrared optical telescope in the world. Its unprecedented sensitivity could confirm or refute the biosignatures detected by the JWST. The Large UV Optical Infrared Surveyor LUV -OIR, is another mission on the horizon that could complement James Webb's findings. Designed to operate over a wide range of wavelengths, LUV OIR can provide even more detailed atmospheric analysis and potentially obtain direct images of exoplanets. As we target more distant exoplanets, advances in propulsion technology will be critical. Components like ion propulsion and even theoretical methods involving antimatter propulsion could drastically reduce travel times, allowing probes to reach and study exoplanets within a human lifetime. As we stand on the threshold of potentially revolutionary discoveries, it's worth pausing to consider the philosophical implications and questions that fuel our cosmic curiosity. What does the search for extraterrestrial life mean for our understanding of existence? Will the discovery of alien life confirm that the building blocks of life are more universal than we thought? What new questions will arise from these discoveries, challenging our understanding of the universe? One question that's becoming increasingly relevant is the role of red dwarfs in the galaxy. Could these numerous stars, often overlooked because of their small size and dim light, actually be the cradle of life? Red dwarfs are the most common type of star in the Milky Way galaxy, and their longevity and stability make them intriguing candidates for planets that have life. What will the discovery of extraterrestrial phytoplankton mean for our understanding of life? 
Such a discovery would not only confirm the existence of life beyond Earth, but would also suggest that the building blocks of life are more universal than we thought. What will the next decade reveal in our quest to understand the cosmos? Will we confirm the existence of extraterrestrial life, or will we discover new, even more complex questions that challenge our understanding of the universe? Join us as we continue this journey into the unknown, exploring the mysteries of the universe and our place within it.